a fossil fuel project is devastated my land and it's their bank and their laws that made it possible. That's why I'm here to try to stop them. So here's what we know. The science is clear and climate breakdown is already hitting those least to blame. To avert a climate crisis, we need to stop new fossil fuel development in its tracks. In its place, a transition to just, equitable, renewable energy solutions for all. Fossil fuel companies have taken us into a climate crisis, but without large amounts of money, we know they're not able to continue their business as usual. We need to organize together, take action, and disrupt those who are funding these companies. And if we do that, we can shift the conversation and shift the balance of power. We have a simple demand, stop funding fossil fuels. Step one, get a group of people together and present the campaign. You may ask yourself, how do I find these people? I am alone. One easy way is to start with an event, start with a movie screening, because it really moves people's emotions and then you can get them into action. The first people you might ask is your friends to join. It's good to already have a structure provided, meaning a room where you can meet and uh, a date. Step two, build connections. Fossil fuel industry has a lot of concentrated power and this concentrated power in turn reinforces many of the already existing social inequalities and injustices. So any groups that are fighting these social injustices anywhere in the world are our allies. So be it be racial injustice, economic injustice, religious injustices, we all need to join our hands together to fight the fossil fuel industry's power. Step three, pick your targets. So every time that we find out about a new project, we can immediately try to look for the financiers. And those could be public banks, such as the EAB, the European Investment Bank, but it can also be private banks. These banks have a very high reputational risks their money depends on clients, and those clients, it's all of us. So by looking into the finance, we can also find our targets. Step four, plan an action. Some of the actions you can do are bank occupations or sit-ins, uh, either in front or inside of the bank that you're targeting. You can think about subvertising, actually targeting the advertising, changing the story that they're saying, using their words against them to tell the truth. You can think about street theater and popular education, how we can be reaching and informing the public to make more informed decisions about their investments and about the pressure we're putting on our public figures. Think about guerrilla projections, uh, putting uh, messages exactly onto where they need to be to be connecting parts of the story that aren't being told. We can use social media campaigns, either by creating our own storytelling pieces or by interfering and hacking the narratives there's no limit to what is possible, the creativity we can use as we join together to organize for a better world. Step five, amplify your action. So to make sure uh, our action gets amplified, during the action, we can focus on getting the best possible iconic picture and make video of what's happening. And then we can have uh, people spreading uh, this content all over the social media. We've heard the call from the youth around the world, which are mobilizing across 185 countries. And this is why we need to disrupt fossil fuel finance, because finance is really the key locus of us not achieving the just transition that we need.